You're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. Your next stop. In the zone. Don't let me get in my zone. Don't let me get in my zone. Don't let me get in my zone. <laughs> All right, welcome to In The Zone. With Tammy. Yeah. Good weed with a bad bitch. Smoke good weed with a bad bitch. Smoke good weed with a bad bitch. Hey, this is Tammy Pinkston, star of the Pinkston Report. In The Zone with Tammy Pinkston. Do you like the way I flick my tongue or no? In The Zone with Tammy. Who is this character? Don't let me get in my zone. Don't let me get in my zone. Don't let me get in my zone. Welcome to In the Zone. I am Tammy Pinkston, and as always, I keep you in the reggae zone. And today, I have Hampton Rose' very own United Souls. I have clips from their live performance at the Vanguard 757, performing for Reggae at the Vanguard, opening up for Sister Nancy. Check out my interview with Hampton Rose's very own United Souls. Whatever you're drinking, I want you to hold your glass up. Hey, yo, this is United Souls, y'all. All I know songs are available live. Y'all can hear me on the radio. 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 Y'all can Soul's. How are you guys doing? Just good. Just good. Awesome, awesome. So how long have you guys been doing music? <laughs> That's a good question. Thing, man. We've been doing music uh, collectively, this crew right here, probably about um, about six years, you know what I'm saying, like on this level here. But uh, this thing goes back long, long. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what do you guys, what do you listen to nowadays? Like what's your favorite type of music, your favorite artist? Wow, um, actually a lot of people ask me that, and I feel like they want to hear like a reggae artist, you know what I mean, but it's one of the things, like our scope is so broad, like being a Virginia-based artist, you know, uh, hip-hop has always been an influence, of course R&B music, uh, you know what I mean, really the dance hall is coming through from from, uh, from around the world, it's like it's dope, man, Afro beats are really hot right now, you know what I'm saying, that kind of vibe, yeah, yeah. So where does your inspiration come from? Uh, well, as far as like songwriting, uh, Ed Dredd is one of our main songwriters. You know, okay. I mean, I'll be the front man, but it's be the bass man and the songwriter. Uh, and basically a lot of the songs really just come from what's going on just around, just, you know what I'm saying, just living, just, yeah, day you know. Day to day, news, yeah. headlines. You know, and, and the shame thing is that it's the same headlines since the 60s, you know. Okay. So it's like, you just repeat the same protest song for real, you know what I mean? So, but if somebody has to ring the bell, somebody has to beat the drum, someone has to be out there organizing people to get together and in some type of way to understand what we're saying here in the media. Okay, okay. So, how has music changed your life? Uh, basically, music has changed our life with, uh, you know what I mean? Just, just, just reaction. You know what I mean? Just the positive reaction is a life changer. It just it makes me, you know, keep moving forward. You know, whether it be, you know, in my day to day, whether it be on stage. You know, music is really not just a stage thing, but a lot of people don't realize. You know, music is a, is a way of life. But music is a lifestyle that, you know, you don't have to play an instrument. You know, some people have to have their vibes, have to have their music, have to have their theme song. You know, to their life. And, this is basically what it is. It's a soundtrack to a lot of people's lives, you know what I mean? Right. So what do you think has made you guys so successful? Yeah, I mean, what do you define success? Is to some people, uh, a million records sold and a platinum plaque. Um, to me, success is being able to put out quality work and 
something that I can be proud to show my kids. Like, I've got kids coming up, you know, that are very impressionable, and you know, just just family, family uh, involvement, uh, family approval. Like, and, you know, I mean, real talk. Like, going on tour and you know, up and down the coast, across the globe, is a great thing. But to have love and support from my kids and my family, that's success to me. You know. Girl, I mean, I'm chronic. Yes, I am. Uh, and I will give everything where you want, girl. Anything where you need, yes. But I one thing may beg you, please. Don't you take my love for granted. My love for granted, girl. For granted. Don't you take my love. And anything that you ever want. Yours, access granted, girl. For granted, don't you take my love, woman, boy. I we cook and I we clean and I we wash and I we walk and I we run and I we drive around the world for you, by your, by your dibima and the home and the job. Tell me what you want, my dear. Tell me what you need if I ran. School fee, tuition, it is all on me, but I beg you, please. Like no, if no, maybe John will say your ratings fall for granted. My love for granted, girl. For granted, don't you take my love? And anything that you ever wanted, it's yours. Access granted, girl. For granted, don't you take my love? Why all? Tell me your eyes, girl, please don't take my love for oh, granted. Don't you take my love for Please take my love for granted. Don't. Yes, girl. Anything that you ever want, it's yours. Access granted, girl. For granted. Don't you take my love. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you take my love. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
loving man, your mouse is insane. Woman, no, no man, be make she in pain. Sweet loving in the falling rain. Sweet loving a mix of my brain. Everything, but no man I call you no look for them way. You look good enough 